Welcome back to the Week in Rock. Fans at last week's Lollapalooza show in Atlanta had a pleasant surprise. For there on Lala's second stage were Atlanta natives The Black Crows. The group's been hard at work on its first album in two years, titled Amorica, due this winter. We found out more when we spoke with Crows frontman Chris Robinson at Lollapalooza. So stand by, we're moving as fast as we can. I've never seen so much equipment on this little stage. We're playing Lollapalooza because it's a gig, <laughs> you know, and that's what we do, you know. I mean, there's no, there's no other reason except that this is a, an afternoon where, where bands are getting together and playing music, and my band is in town. We're just coming down to jam, really, and say hi and check it out. We did play a parking lot. I, I remember specifically uh, opening for Kathy Dennis at the grand opening of the Marriott in Albany, New York's parking lot. I can admit that now. I don't have to go to Oprah or anything. That's the whorish life that I led, and I'm sorry. That's OK, Chris. No apologies were needed this time either for the folks in Atlanta who crammed in to see their hometown band perform on Lollapalooza's second stage. The Black Crows took the opportunity to try out new material from their forthcoming album titled Amorica. Look here. Did you ever hear the one about last year? Said it was all a lie. That ain't that funny how the time flies. I think, it, you know, the same thing that we've been sort of uh, possessed with is to getting down to you know, this, this weird concept of what is soul. Getting more to that point of like giving your music instead of thinking about your music. That's what, you mean. Know, that's sort of our concept now of soul and that's what the uh, record is about. The Black Crow's new album, Amorica, is due out in early November.